possibility of Mrs. Body being in the Mississippi. We won't find her if she was dumped in the river. The May Bailey whore was found. That whore was lucky she wasn't carried off to the swamp and eaten by gators. Did you question all the dinner guests? St. Germain was the last to see her alive, and he said that she left his house at four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock? Yes. <laughs> well, there's no telling what kind of deviant was out at that hour. She might as well have been working for Madame Catherine. See that laceration there? Behind the shoulder blades? Same from the girl from May Bailey's. Has this girl been identified yet? She's suspected to be the girl from the brothel on Frenchman Street. My wife's making supper tonight. It's been ages. Why so long? She's not one of Madame Catherine's then? No. She's been down with some cough better now and roasting duck. We'll hurry this up then. Lacerations on the wrist as well. I don't remember his name being on the client list. There's no way to guarantee this one is connected to the others. You're right. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. Appear calm. Of course. Wait, no. I didn't kill that whore. And the blood is from a surgery officer. You performed surgery on the whore? Not the one who died. Another one, sir. It was a special situation. Uh, sir, do you know who these earrings belong to? They came from that whore that died. She brought it to pay for the surgery. These are the earrings of Mademoiselle Felicia who went missing eight months ago. No, no, I swear. The lady had quite an interesting statement from us, monsieur. She was able to give you a statement? Uh, we're sure this is all uh, a misunderstanding. A wild story from a young girl. She says you attacked her and determined to kill her. That's quite a story. I'm extremely exhausted. Would it be too much trouble if I gave you the statement tomorrow morning? Well, uh... Unless it's too much trouble. It should be fine. First thing tomorrow morning will be by for your statement, sir. Thank you, officers.